Hi guys! Today we're going to do a book review and I'm going to talk about the difference between giving up and letting go. Huh. That's the difference I basically just showed you. This little book by Marie Kondo, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, you think it's about cleaning your house. It is so much more than that. It is teaching you a practical, spiritual practice around letting go. You have to read the book start to finish, and you have to do the process start to finish to get the magic of the tidying up. I did it, and I cleared out so much stuff. Just have to block out the time. I blocked off a week, and I got it done in like five days. I was exhausted after the five days. It was a serious process, emotional, spiritual, physical. And ever since I have felt lighter, losing weight has been easier, love life has been easier, friendships have been easier. I really think there's a magic to the tidying up. Here's the thing. People are very, very hard to let go of. So we need to practice because there will be people we have to let go of. Death happens, breakups happen, people change. So practice with stuff. And stuff has feelings and emotions and has all the same things, but it's just a little like not as, not as serious. Use this book, go through the process and practice letting go of the things that do not serve you anymore. One more thing about letting go. There's this whole difference between giving up and letting go. Giving up is kind of like feeling defeated. It sounds more like this, like I give up, like I just can't do it. Nothing ever works out. I'm just not going to get what I want. Right? We've all been there with dating. Like I give up on men. Like I'm done with men. I'm done with dating. Like you cancel all the apps and you get really like ah, about it or with relationships, like in the middle of a fight, you're just like, I give up. And you like throw your hands in the air and you storm out. It's totally fine. It's human. Like I'm, I've given up many, many times. Giving up sometimes is really, really fun actually. And then what happens is there's still a little work left to do. Like if you leave in the middle of that argument, like, you know, you're gonna have to come back and do more. An even more powerful stance is letting go. Marie Kondo actually teaches you about this in the book. There is a, a gratitude and an appreciation and, and recognition of the experience and the lessons that were brought to you. And then you release the object or you release the person or you release the fight and you let go. Sometimes it's painful. Sometimes it's like, oh, I wanted that so bad and now I have to let it go. And when you do it with consciousness, you make room in your life. And then you get to ask yourself, what do I want? And you're not coming from this giving up defeated place where it's like, you can't have what you want. You're coming from a place of, wow, I learned a lot. Now, what do I want? And then you bring in the new thing. It's so amazing. The book is so great. It teaches you the muscle that you need to do this with actual humans and, ex and experiences where it's not so easy. What you also get from this book is you trust yourself and you trust your instincts and you might be left with one sweater in your closet, but that one sweater is who you are and it's what you want to say to the world. And when you do more of that and you leave room for more sweaters that feel like you, you leave so much more room in the whole world to be you and radiate out you and be yourself and experience what you really, really, really want. So I give the book two thumbs up. I don't know if you can tell. I highly recommend it. And I wish you life-changing magic of tidying up and letting go and lots of love in your life. There we go. Hi, if you liked this video, press subscribe below. That would be so great. Right, Emma? <laughs>